Yeah, so some matches that we've got coming up. I know Furok versus Doc Bok in the top eight of winter, winners is happening off stream right now. So I believe Undertow versus Asian Dave will be on its way to the winner's side. Uh, on the loser's side, we're running a little bit behind as Branch, the uh, player you just saw over at the cross tag uh, grand finals, is uh, currently playing Aggro Frag, the king of the loser's bracket. So we'll be running through that uh, and making our way from there. Alright, so we've got Undertow versus Asian Base. Alright, so this is going to be a Viking versus Elf Elf matchup. Undertow Viking player versus Elf Elf. Had the opportunity to play against him a little bit earlier. So, yeah. As a Slayer player, it was a bit of a nightmare. And again, this is top eight of winner's bracket. Alright, jump ball. So here we go with Guilty Gear Exert. Alright, so Undertow is setting up his wall already. Ooh, going in on the Asian Dave. So, the way Undertow likes to play this matchup and most of his matchups in general is just to try and set up a wall of bullshit uh, with Viper for the other player to get through. Um, with Elfelt and her string of very safe strings, we'll see how that works. Dave. Ooh, good air throw. Agent Dave going for the blitz. From control. Dave taking a little bit back, setting up Prime Barry. Showing him the barrels, popping balls. Alright. Dave with a bit more control here. Undertow. Showing just how to get out of the corner. Walk right back into it by AC Dave. AC Dave might be able to kill here. That's the fun there, and there it is. First round to Asian Dave. Undertow, setting up the wall again. Asian Dave looking for a way in. Not very set up. Ooh. Ooh. And the that sniper rifle. Ooh, Undertow rushing in, but Asian Dave is willing to challenge him on it. There it is. Corner setups. Alright. Undertow taking a little bit more control. Ooh! The run up throws. Yeah, set up. Ooh, Asian Dave finding the hit. Fighting play out of the corner. Pineberry set up. Ooh, patience from Asian Dave. See if it costs him. Dave looking for one more hit to kill. Yep. Ooh, drop the combo. Ooh, one show finding a way in. Game Dave not challenging on the first from Viking. Game Dave still holding on to his first to take control of the situation. Sniper rest set up. Ooh, using the floorboards. Oh, but Asian Dave finding the hit. First game to Asian Dave. Uh, just doing a quick update from games off stream. Undertow taking a second here, take a deep breath. Uh, 
Uh, and off stream, Doc Bach did take down Furok, so Furok now in the loser's bracket. Here we go again. Ooh, Undertale, rather than setting up the walls, just going right in on Asian Dave. Great defense by Asian Dave. Asian Dave taking control, the first from Undertale. Undertale right now is just trying to find a way to cross the Asian Dave and take control at the same time. Yeah. Asian Dave taking control. His combos and mid screen from Elfeld are just so hard to deal with, especially with Viking. Um, Undertale not looking a lot for the counter setups either. Ooh, Dave showing the power of guns over cannons. Undertale taking control again. So it's really relying on this strategy of hanging back, attempting to set up a, uh, an area for Asian Dave to uh, come through, and Asian Dave is just finding the answer every time. Ooh, good burst from Undertale. They saw it get off the device. Trying to find a way in. Ooh, find him at the front. And the setups. Here we go. Undertale with full corner control, looking for the dust, just doesn't find it. Ooh, I see the dust. Again, just hanging out at a range where Asian Davis has been shown to hang out. Ooh, hit him with the floorboards and the pine berry at once. Ooh. There it is. With one second remaining, Undertow taking a round. Ooh. Alright, here it is, Undertow. Relentless pressure on Asian Dave. Not giving him a second to breathe here. Good block, uh, block cross up by Asian Dave. Asian Dave, finding the hit. Alfel combos go forever. Dave with full control here. Most of the attention meter builds up, plus his burst. Uh, Asian Dave just in full control of this round. Finding the hits. Undertow attempting to come in. Ooh, good backdash from Undertow. Here's the setup. Gets the pass through twice. Ooh, run up throws. Got the throw. Set up the floorboards. Ooh, but Asian Dave finding the low. Ooh, throw the pine berry. And that's a round for Asian Dave. Final round of game two. Uh, again, this is winner's side, top eight. Ooh, Undertale looking for the counter off the Pineberry, finds it, but Asian Dave is ready for it. Turn it back to neutral. Undertale looking for a way in. Bring some strings, Asian Dave finding the hit. There's the combo. Pineberry setups. Corner control for Asian Dave. Ooh. Undertow able to just jump out of the corner and take a nice right hit. Asian Dave find the hit mid screen. Undertow taking back control. Look for a set of gold bursts from Asian Dave. Oh. Dave taking a full screen cannon shot for some reason. Undertow finding a hit. Undertow looking for a way to take control of the corner. Here's Dave with the combo. Will this kill? Throws out the Pine Berry. Looking for a sniper shot. And there it is. One straight hit. Asian Dave 2 0 over Undertow. Undertow off to the loser's bracket. Asian Dave off to face. Doc Block. In winner's finals. Uh, meanwhile, down on the loser's side, Agro Crag picking up the win over Branch. Um, and now off to uh, off to play Logan. Uh, meanwhile, Fems is playing Flak Maniac. Uh, and Daffy and Ennis just sitting a little bit further down in losers.
I'm not particularly familiar with the Viking and Elfelt matchup, but I will say that uh, seems like a nightmare. All right, looks like we're going to get Aggro Craig and Logan on stream. Loses a uh, round match. Aggro Craig, a Faust player uh, and a member of Team JMD as well. Um, and Logan, I'm not actually familiar with. Since we are here at uh, Boston Blue Beat uh, version 4, I think we're calling it, or chapter 4, or something like that, the Vernal Equinox. Uh, I'll be having another Boston Blue Beat later on in April as well. Uh, it, this is our anime monthly here at uh, Balance Patch in Boston, sponsored by the Traveling Controller. Here we go. Again, Agro Craig taking the Faust. He's rocking that Nage Faust. And Logan, quick discussion between the players. Talk about buttons, probably. Cesaro. Oh, Logan is playing a Dizzy. Uh, this is actually uh, Agro Craig's second Dizzy in a row. So the branch, uh, the player who just beat, also a Dizzy. Here we go. Agro Craig versus Logan. Looks like I have a guest. It is. Hello. What's up? What's going on? Introduce yourself to the screen, my, screen, my friend. Hey, I'm Tessiro. I'm a city player who already lost, so I'm here to commentate the games. <laughs> Isn't that always fun how that goes? All right, so Agro Craig versus Logan. Uh, Agro Craig taking control early on here. Logan, uh, Dizzy, not many options uh, to deal with uh, Faust up in her face. Attempting to set up her wall. Stun already. Oh, full wow. stun. Yeah, Agro, Logan, Agro like Craig coming to win. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. But, you know, that's the thing with Dizzy. You know, if, if Dizzy has the opportunity to set up her wall, set up, you know, on the opposite end of the screen and not let someone in, she'll do great. The moment they're in, the Faust has God knows how many ways to get in. All right, here it is. Think about Faust, though. His neutral's not half bad either. Like, even from the mid-range, like, he's got that far slash. All of these ones that, like, harass Dizzy. She's got to get really far to get those projectiles off. It's almost as if Faust is a good character. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, Logan looking to take more control, but Agrocrack refusing to uh, give up pressure. Uh, Logan had a bit there where he had set everything up, but um, Faust items kind of ruined that. Uh, hey, this looks good for him. Here it is. Oh, that's a bad drop. Logan. Wait, heal. Get the heal. <laughs> uh, he's just making sure that uh, Faust can't throw out more items. I mean, his HP was so low, I think it would be it's like, it's like one of those balances of like, uh, do I want to risk him getting a hammer? Do I want to heal? In the, as a Slayer player, in my in that my circumstance, it's I'm going to dash through that chocolate and then eat it and then punch it in the face. So hey, really, that, that's, that's smart. <laughs> Ooh, Logan taking it to Aggro Craig. Got the nice fish pressure. Yep. Look at this corner control from Logan. More pressure from Logan. Agricrack was not expecting this. Whiffing on the dust for Logan. Logan, we're getting a perfect here. Oh, there it is. Going my way. Oh, oh my lord. His first attack got interrupted by the poison. Oh my god. Blitz gets interrupted by the poison, and then Faust gets the free mix up off that. But Logan still uh, looking pretty good here. Let's see how he gets out of this corner pressure. Nice throw. Quick look in the bush. Oh, 100 pounds of food set up. Oh, Agricrack just. I mean, that's hard to time because yeah. when you get the hundred ton knockdown, it's oh. well, nice. Did that trade? It did. Oh, no, no. no, DRC that. Okay, okay. Logan's finally on the board. That's yeah. his first round all day, right? Logan picking up a round here. Oh boy. That mini fast is going to be a real struggle for Logan. <laughs> oh, but gets the full ice set up. Logan, just wow, with full crowd drawn here. Didn't know that. What a swing from game one. First from Agro Craig. That Mini Faust gonna help him out. That big oh, Mini big, Faust. Big man coming in. The big homie. He's still coming. <laughs> Lasers. Yeah, so the big homie is still here. I think the fire knocked him out. Oh, the fire knocked him out? Yeah. Door. 
Hyperfire just dashing underneath the fireball. Oh. Odd blitz timing from Logan. Not sure what he was expecting, but yeah, Aggrafate didn't take advantage of it. So. No. Oh, you want to throw right there, but got the 2k. So. There it is. A quick two rounds for Logan. One one each. So where did you see the adjustment from Logan? He definitely was able to get more of his projectiles out on the screen. I, I feel like Aggro Craig either uh, backed off, gave him more space, or Logan was just able to put himself on better place yeah. on the screen. Like. It's, it seemed like Logan's game plan was get him in the corner early, take off three quarters of his health, and then just watch what happens. All right, Aggro Craig takes control early. Lots of 6 H's from Aggro Craig. That seems yeah. to be his go to mix up. He no. really loves the 6 H. He always has. Um, he finds it to be the dumbest move, so when it hits, it just makes him very happy. It also does a ton of damage. Yes, he does. Oh, blitzing the 6 H. Oh, no. See, Logan's starting to call him out. He's like, yeah. you know, he's going to 6 H every single knockdown. I'm going to have to start blitzing him. Next thing for Logan to uh, start challenging is the throws, because he's just getting throw loops here. Oh, that's a nice round. Yeah, that was a rough, rough black hole setup. Get a company? He's not done. No, that's the idea. Oh, Aggro Craig. Looking for the invulnerability off the dust, but gets the throw. Yeah, that's kind of a scramble right there. <laughs> yeah, probably just mash it. <laughs> the moment that dust missed, he didn't know what to do. Another scramble Big throw. Big Bomb setup. Ooh, he jumped through it. Rushing him down into the corner. Oh, that was the luckiest poison. Big Meteor coming in. Oh, we yep. forgot about him. Logan did not realize. Hydro Craig just relying on these throws. Very close to winning this round. This game. Here comes the mini homie. Now, did he just beat Fire Pillar with a Pogo? Yes. Because oh, fuck this character. <laughs> Wow, that <laughs> range on the 6H! <laughs> as far as humanly possible, the 6H aggro track take the 2 1 over Logan. So far. Uh, I believe we're going to be moving to the uh, winner's finals match Doc Bok versus Asian Dave. Uh, oh, this is going to be good. Elfelt versus Chumpkin. Meanwhile, Femmes over Flak Maniac. Femmes will be facing Daffy. Uh, aggro Craig now will be playing against the sponsor of Team JMD. Whoa. JMD. <laughs> He's got his own team? Yeah. Myself, Aggro Craig, and JMD are all proud members of Team JMD. Okay. So we have a Team JMD team kill happening on stream. And you got to choose between your boys right now. Oh, uh, this is going to JMD 100%. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, so of course, I, w I watch this pretty often. It's a Faust versus Jam matchup. Um, and if there's one thing I can say with confidence now, it's that when James is wearing, well, hang on, I'll wait for him to move through his buttons and for it to load. Wait for that it to load. taking a while. Yeah, I'm not sure what he did. Must be a rare <laughs> color. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he didn't unlock champion. <laughs> I believe I know what color this is, so I can make a, a point about it. Just wait for this. Yes, when James James is wearing the weed color, he never loses. It's the weed jam. He has this jam handed on the bottom of his stick. There it is. Early setups. Oof, the meteors. Buffalo counter hit. This damage. So what this match is essentially going to look like is characters just taking their turns. Um, wow, that's a bit funny right there. Throw setups. Ooh, dagger peg. He's his own battle. I heard Greg chasing the back dash. You see him going my way. Wow, the flash. Very close. And he just eats the 6 H. <laughs> uh, uh, James is shaking his head. He knew better. He knew that 6 H was coming. Yep. There's one thing you can guarantee it's Aggro Craig and 6 H's. Mix-ups coming up from JMD. So far, though, it seems like Aggro Craig is pretty much in control. But JMD's not really getting it. James is giving him a lot more respect than he traditionally does. Um, okay, there's, a, there's the Aggro right there. Go right in there. There it is, full screen fucking Ryujin. Not the combo from it, though. Wake up, H. 
James will full screen reunion at any point in time. Sorry, JMD will uh, full screen reunion at any point in time. He never expects it to hit. So you're honestly safer just letting it hit because he won't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, it still does a lot of damage. Oh. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a galaxy brain. He six eight and did the same mix up. He literally. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. JMD flipping off Agro Craig. Agro Craig giving me the thumbs up. Oh, this is a Team JMD special right here. <laughs> oh, I'd God. love to know what's going through his mind right there. <laughs> uh, James or or Craig? Because I can tell you both. Oh, definitely Craig. Uh, Craig was, I'm going to do the thing that's going to make him so mad. <laughs> All right, here it is. James with corner control, but Craig throwing his way out. Ooh, 100 ton, ton of bomb setup. Yeah, he's got one card. Gets a knockdown. Gotta love. How, oh my god, no. Oh wait, my wait, god, wait, wait. no. Nope. All right, so not so bad, not so bad. Um, as Craig likes to put it, uh, if you ever see him actually hit that super, it means that he panicked because there's a much better pogo setup to be done there. Craig? Oh, yep. Look for the door. Wow, that 2P. Stuff in the dash. I heard Craig on game point here. James just doesn't seem to have a, an answer. Bomb setup. Yeah. Oh, I gotta do so much more damage. Oh. With the is this neutral hammer. Ooh, James not expecting that to hit. Yeah, Throwing through. Yeah. Nice Safari yeah. though. Ooh. Can't drop those combos. Yeah. James panicking just a little bit. Wait, will this blow up if he's a farm? Oh, I was so scared for a second. <laughs> I was too. I was also scared of the flaming Faust hitting the crowd. <laughs> Ooh, found the counter hit, but didn't convert. There's the door. Let me Again. show you the oh door. Oh, no. Oh, we never fall over the place. Oh, James finding this great hit. Not converting. This is a conversion. Yep. He's, He's going to look at her bow. Oh, no. Panic burst not paying off. Craig looking for the big time. Finally, JMD on the board. James coming in with an almost fully charged burst. Oh, finding the pull into the mini Faust, using that fully charged burst immediately. Oh, head set up, weight set up. Missing the 6 H set up again. Oh, no. Wait. Yep. Here's the big punish. James going to go for the big combo here. Drop, drops it. Same five James choosing to not go for the bow finishes on many of his combos here. I saw that meter that JMD has. Though. Yeah. It's a really good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Ooh, big cross up. Finishes it. Oh, oh no. no. The drops. Oh, but finds the hit. <laughs> Flying with the jump slash. All right, one one for both. Uh, team JMD members. Now, the thing here is that Craig needs to remember that James pays his bills. Oh, and if he w if he beats James on the se screen, he may lose that 6-6 six, six sponsorship money. Oh. There's sponsor money on the line now. The stakes have gone higher. Oh, the burst from James. Not a bad spot. He's still been at a lack of that burst. Traditionally, you want to burst, you know, on the way up, not before you even get there, but... Really dangerous that JMD put himself into now. Yeah. Lots of meteors. Oh, here don't forget, meteors. don't forget. Oh, he remembered, but... Oh, full screen you're huge. <laughs> oh my god, the 6-H setup. I'm pretty sure he hasn't blocked a single Duel. since H today. Nope. <laughs> Game point for Agro Craig. The trade for the opening. Nice, nice conversion. Not, no meter for Bao. 
Look at all that damage. Max Ryujin? Full screen Ryujin. He just doored out of the way though. Yeah. Another six H. Aggro Craig finding great success with these six agents, as ridiculous as they are. Oh, here comes the bomb. Okay. Out of the way, but finds a hit. Oh, he blocked the six H. Let's go. This is it. This is the turning point. Oh no, the mini fast. Games with burst. Oh, the run under. Oh, and there it is. Aggro Craig gonna take it. Oh, the burst! Yes, but with the door, Aggro Craig shows the sponsor the door. <laughs> that was a good whiff finish on that reunion right there. And Aggro Craig will be looking for a new team. <laughs> booted from Team JMD for winning. <laughs> booted from Team JMD. Can't All right. meet JMD and expect to be on good terms with JMD after. <laughs> <laughs> Team JMD is disappointed, while JMD the person is extra disappointed. So who is next? Uh, we're looking at Fems and Daff versus Daffy and Ennis versus Agro Craig on the loser's side. With um, ooh, Fems picking up the win over Daffy. Uh, he will face Undertow in the top eight of losers. Oh, okay. uh, meanwhile, uh, we still have the winner's finals match against Doc Bock and Agent Dave waiting on that side. Uh, we are here at volume four of Boston Blue Beat Vernal Equinox. Vernal Equinox. That's yes. an anime as hell name. Hell right yeah. Um, uh, we'll be here with some uh, Unist after this. Ooh, I love Unist. Uh, as well as some uh, Blaze Blue Central Fiction. And I love Central Fiction. I love, man, I just love all these anime games. Some KOF. KOF's good. Yeah. Uh, and then finishing up the day with some Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Um, is that anime? Does that count? Sailor Moon is the most anime. Well, I guess Sailor Moon is an anime. So I guess this is like an exactly. anime game. But exactly. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll accept it. Much like Dragon Ball Fighters is the most anime game that people refuse to say is anime. People refuse to say Dragon Ball Z is anime? I mean, it's not here at the Anime Monthly. <laughs> well, <laughs> it should tell I, you I everything think that's, about it. that's part of, because it's like, it's it's big enough to be its own monthly. True. Very they, true. If we, if we had Dragon Ball Z here, we'd run out of space. So. That's fair. It's entirely <laughs> fair. Uh, Boston does have a very large DBFC scene. Uh, looks like we're going to get uh, Agro Craig versus Ennis. Agro Craig continuing his run of on-stream matches here, uh, which is probably for the best, since he has another tournament to run, since he's running Unist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marlo is a busy guy. All right. See so us. Yes, uh, Boston Blue Beat, if you do not know, is the uh, Boston FGC Anime Monthly. Uh, we're here every month. I uh, don't know if we've settled on a date for the April one yet. I think we're on the second Sunday in April. Second Sunday in April? I'll have to check. Yep. Uh, we'll need to double check that as well. Um, and I don't know if we've come up with the subtitle for the uh, for the April uh, Blue Beat yet. Is that more important than the actual tournament? Significantly. <laughs> okay, April 7th. Yep. April 7th. All right. That's the first Sunday in April. Okay. Or no. Wait. No, because April 1st is a Monday, so it's the first Sunday in April. Okay, okay. Thanks for the catch. Yes. Uh, we're actually going to get Fems versus Undertow here on stream. Uh, Ennis versus Agro Craig is going to uh, take us off stream. Axel versus Mike. Mike it. Yep. Uh, we did see uh, before you joined us, Tessero. Um Also, just to uh, reiterate, my name is JMDGRC. I'm joined on commentary by Tessero. Yep. Um, we did see uh, Undertow on stream earlier on the winner's side uh, against uh, uh, Asian Dave. Yeah, he was playing Elfold, yep. Um, in what might be the hardest of hard matchups. Really? Uh, L felt and Biken. For Biken? Oh, yes. I mean, I'm not a very experienced Biken player, so I can't say I know much about her matchups. Uh -huh. But I, uh, he was playing that pretty well, I was. Yeah. Um, I was playing uh, against Undertow earlier um, and was asking him what uh, matchups he really hates. And he responded with Potemkin and Elfelt. <laughs> Which I assume this match also can't be great for him. Right. I'm not sure if Fems has the experience, so he could definitely get something out of here. Uh, Undertow, one of the few Bikens here in the scene. Uh, and definitely taking advantage immediately. Also changing up his strategy as well from his uh, games against Asian Dave. 
uh, where he was doing a lot more hanging back. Now he's taking the fight straight two thumbs. Yeah, we don't want to give Axel that much space. No. It's not over yet. Wow, a throw setup. That was a catch. These air throw setups from Undertale are fantastic. Yeah, if he, if he lets you tech, you might not want to think <laughs> twice about that. <laughs> Accurate. Femmes finding himself in the actual space, but Undertale fighting his way in. Yeah, he's the Tommy. He's the Tommy Geist. Or as I like to put it, the floorboards. I love how she just summons floorboards in the air. I know. <laughs> Cannon set up. Ooh, these horror combos. Is that a tech catch? Is that on purpose? I, I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. A oh, zombie double counter. Ooh. That DP was uh, yeah. really bold, dude. Yeah. Fem's finding himself in a pretty safe spot. A Sparrowhawk. He can still take it. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing about Axel. Until the crown is over, he can kill you. Character does a deceptively high amount of damage. Yes. Ooh, a zombie counter. Ooh, that's what Viking is known for. So. Challenging the ground break. Undertow with the ballsy, ballsy choices. Fem's not really sure what to do. It seems like. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of think he, he's got to take his time. He's got to learn this world. Undertow retreating to his earlier strategy of setting up a wall. Uh, but now going in on them. Them is finding himself in the access space. That's burning his burst early here. Undertow's defense in this match as well has been absolutely fantastic. Oh, also at the point here. Look, look at the pressure. Blocks in the DP. No, denied. Yep, denied the DP. Uh, going into a. Uh, it's a game point for Undertow here. A quick oh! he, knew, he knew. He's like, press the button, I dare you. The call outs with the counter. Tommy guys. In. Counter hit two feet. Pressure still low. Oh, but Ooh, still throw. Here comes the pretty, pretty axle combos. Oh, with the air counter. What are these? Counters from Undertow. Undertow, you monster! Ooh, the ground throws from Femmes. All right, take control here. No bomber loop. Ooh, okay. Ah, this time the yep. barrel hop. God, I love Viking's <laughs> voice lines. <laughs> You need the long <laughs> As angry as you can, just shout to Tommy Kite. Ooh. Win years. Let's go. Fem's on the board now. Fem's finally carving himself out some safe space. Ooh. Erko's wow. still on point with those counters, but yeah. he missed the follow-up that time. Ooh, the dash. Fem's starting to keep Undertow yeah. exactly where he wants Oh, but that counts out of the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he countered it! Uh, Yo, that was actually air. sick. Yeah, countering the air in here. Oh my god, the very, very, very edge of that floorboard's opened up them. Yo, that was 60%. Yeah. Off of Tatami. Ooh, he's got the stagger, too. Oh, there's the counter. Heaven can wait, Ooh. though. He just mashed out yeah. command yes! on Waco. <laughs> That's a good air. Oh, there's the NA air. Oh, I feel like that could have killed. Yeah. Fem's playing it safe for the most part. Undertow. Finding the hit. I Can Undertow pick though. it up? Oh, no. Just out of range. Ooh. Oh, the counters! Ooh. And Undertow takes a 2 0 over Fem's. Fem's eliminated from the tournament. Fem's thought he had that anti air all set up, but oh my Undertow God. is just on a level ahead of that. It's just the boldest counters. He knew he was going to anti here. How, how do you have to feel 
when your very own anti-air gets countered on you. Like, not even a dash in, not even a rush down. Your anti-air gets countered and you lose. I mean, as far as Fem was concerned, that was the right move to make. Yeah. He was air dashing in, and it's like there's no option that he can do. Well, like, what's he gonna do? <laughs> it loses all air. He'd lose if he did any air attack, but this is Viking he's playing. Against. Exactly, and he couldn't risk the trade. Like, he, he made the right call. It's just Undertow knew it was coming. He's a very, very... He knows all in, bike it in and out. Yes. And you can see that yes. when he plays. All right, looks like we're going to get our winner's final uh, match on stream. Doc Bok versus Asian Dave. Uh, Chupkin versus Elfil. Uh, meanwhile, I'm trying to check in on the NS versus Agro Craig matchup that's happening off stream. Uh, looks like it is still happening. So uh, Undertow, I believe, might be waiting in winners and uh, losers finals. No, Undertow waiting in losers semis. All right, so Elfelt versus Potemkin. And it, to be fair, a matchup we see very often here at Blue Beat uh, with Asian Dave versus Doc Bok. Asian Dave was a Potemkin player himself. Yes, he was. Uh, up until what, just six months ago? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, made the, the switch to Potemkin, or made the switch to Elfelt, threw his hands in the air and said, I'm done. I gotta, I gotta go with guns. I can't go with hands anymore. And his jump, and his Potemkin wasn't half bad either. I like, mean, his Potemkin is still excellent. Um, he was one of the stronger Potemkins here. Yes. And uh, back then, when he played, you could say that he was probably the top of the custom boot game. Way oh, he's above Docklack. Certainly. You know, but yeah. now Docklack is um, Docklack has made strides. Yes, he's gotten way better over those six months. Yes. And now he's like here in Winners Finals. Yeah. That would be unheard of six months ago. Yes, most certainly. Uh, Doc Fox really carved a name out of himself, uh, and as he put it, waiting to hear them announce uh, Red Bull Conquest one more time uh, to show off there, um, because he had a, a very rough Red Bull Conquest uh, in Guilty Gear, and he wants to show off a little bit more. Hey, um, if he's got something to prove, that's even more drive. Exactly. You know, Nation Dave, you know, the, the Potemkin Grand Master for such a long time, beating him here in Winners Finals with his old character. Pretty fitting. I feel like he might have more knowledge on Potemkin than Docknock, but I don't know if he can use it when he's playing Alphils. Yes. yes, yes, winners finals. Yeah, I, I have the stream. I have the the bracket, James. Thank you. Um, so what do you think? Do you think that all that experience can help him? Here? I'm gonna wonder here, and, and you have to assume that that Asian Dave is gonna pull out the the Alphil for this. Yeah. Um, but what if? What if Dave says, you know what? You think oh, he's going Kai? He's doing the counter pick. He's going Kai. Dave, you crazy, crazy man. He's doing what I do as a Slayer player when I have to play Potemkin. I, I, I did not expect this. I was I, this fully is... expecting to see Elfeld, and he pulls out the Kai. I mean, he must just like this matchup that much more. This will be interesting. Because this is like his third character on the food chain. So yeah. I mean. But you got to think, you know, he loses uh, match one or something like that, uh, and he'll just go back to, to Alfeld and Temkin. Already a bad burst from Asian Dave. Yeah. Oh, go dash up. HP. Lost her. Uh, how do you like my shoulders? Oh, oh that's the gonna kill me. Uh, no, that was light arc. Uh, that was light arc. Oh, James time. This is where Asian and he Dave... Two feet oh, again. no. <laughs> you gotta wonder how often Doc Bok plays against Kai. I mean, Kai is probably the most common character. Both the most common character and the most common counter pick to <laughs> So even if it's a counter pick, he should know how to play this matchup. Yes. And right now you can see he knows what he's doing. Yep. Asian Dave looking uncomfortable. Yeah, he's getting flustered. Oh my. Oh. He's got to start jumping or yep. else. He's just going to show the tattoo. Optimization here. Uh, uh. Oh. oh. That jump. And yep. the optimization. Dead. Show him that hard. And he couldn't First. have bursted that either. Yep. <laughs> First round to Doc Bach. 
We'll see if Asian Dave chooses to goes with Elf Elder. Even, you know, oh, he's just going right back in. Sticking with Kai. That looked rough. I don't know. Giving Thokbok the respect. He doesn't feel like his Elf Elder can do it, so he's sticking with Kai. There you go. All right, taking some control here. And this is why you pick Kai into, into Temkin. You just have so many angles you can set up that Temkin just can't deal with. Suddenly, it feels like we're looking at a completely different game here. Yeah. Oh, Asian Dave with the low. Ooh. That was such a giant bummer for Doc Boss. Finding a great RC, but having to block. Asian Dave playing the neutral game very well right here. Great spacing for the far slash. Asian Dave was looking dramatically more comfortable. Great air to air right there. Calling out the jump, and that's a great round. Fighting exactly, right back. Exactly the sort of thing you need to take control back after such a rough first game. Flicks it. Right, top off. Finding space. Ooh. Back oh, back dash buster. That's the classic. Yep. You can't get too greedy against him. Oh, comes in with the low. I think he did that stun dipper just in case he did hammer fall. Yep. Those two hit moves. Uh, do we know if uh, Winter's Final is going to be 3 out of 5? Um, I have not. I want to say it is. I, I would assume so, but I'm not 100% on it. Um, but Black Bee. I think that might be. Not quite. Not quite. He almost died from the slide head. Wait, oh, he did slide head set up. Oh! Good of OTG for the kill. Yeah. There it is. Trades. Oh, it just made it clean out. That yeah. new H doesn't do it. all three. Turn up the heat. Doc Box just looking comfortable. Ooh, but here you go. He backed out over that slightly perfectly. Go see up. No. Okay, see the damage. Both players with their bursts on the line. No longer. <laughs> Cast his curse. Ooh, he finds the hit. Dave on the ropes now. Alright, if this is 3 out of 5, which I'm assuming it is, Dave has to switch characters after this he loses this round. Here we go. This is where he has to start winning. Yeah. Oh, that was a great 2P. Uh oh. That's it. Busters for the kill. 2-0 oh, up, Doc Bok. Players aren't moving, must be 3 out of 5. And I think we're going, going to have like here. Oh, Asian Dave is rolling it over. Yes, he is. He is deciding. He's going to ride it out. He's saying, you know what? Kai, to, Kai and that's it. Well, he wasn't playing that bad that first round. No. But then Doc Bok just found his groove. Oh, okay, nice jump. Start to avoid more pot busters. Ooh, Asian Dave. Ooh, Asian Dave. overhead setup. Oh, catch them out of the air. Yep. All right. Doc off with corner control. Let's see what he does with it. Dave pushing his way out. Medium boost. He didn't want any part of that corner pressure. No. <laughs> but he's still looking back at the wall. Okay, not good. Mabari, though. Showing him the butt. No good help. Oh, he wanted that. Oh. I think that might have been a little bit too greedy. Yep. Asian Dave was looking for the big stuff. Is he going to die? Uh, no. Not boys. I thought it was like, ooh. He said, give me that. Yep. Gus is going to let let him live, but... Ooh. Oh! Founds the low hit. Founds the low again. Aiden yeah. Dave. Ooh. Good burst from Doc Bok. Great DP. This is like his first DP all game. Well, I be he tried oh, to no. him. Oh, my God. Asian Dave. Oh! And Doc Bok with the catch. He had no option. As soon as he committed to jumping, it yep. was over. And that's why that's RC is such a great option after Hammerfall. Yeah. Game point for Doc Bok. But Asian Dave with his first on lock. Finding a rage to sit at. Clicking Doc Bok. 
I'm loving all of these dash up YRC busters. Ooh, takes the takes the head. Doc finding one bar of meter and immediately using it. Trying to go for up dust right here. That doesn't knock out. Ooh, but drops it. Still has the bar though. Yeah, Doc Rock did something weird there and, and kind of cornered himself a bit. Great flick. Great buster. Heavy buster. Okay. All right. Here's Dave looking for his moment. Ooh, Got Doc Rock. Both slash. He has meter. RC. Oh, that's a huge move. Oh, my God. Asian Dave with the second string of life. Oh my gosh. Could this be? Oh, oh one, of that one of the dust is so bad. Oh, oh wow. The it's, it's panicking. Oh, the Doc ear Bok. to ear by Asian Dave. And that. Oh my god, that round was in the bag. Doc Bok with the panic just dropping everything in the scramble. That's unfortunate. Can't let that hit kill no. you. Doc Bok seems to be centered here, but. Oh, Asian Dave. I see another round. Right? Yep. Kitchen Dave following the back dash. So much YRCs. Oh, back dashes. All right. Here's here's the attempted zone. Okay. Music change. Yep. Uh, uh, good burst from Kitchen Dave. Here we go. Okay, oh, nice use. <gasps> oh, the buster! buster! Oh my gosh. He oh, just what is Doc Buck gonna do? Oh, the back dash from Asian Dave! Oh, the Doc Buck! Yep, yep. There's the shoulder! Doc Buck 3 0 over Asian Dave in winners' finals. This is the wake up buster to stop all of that momentum that Asian Dave was building up right there. He found the 2D. Oh. He's about to get that nice Oki, but Asian bang, wake up buster. And that just took the wind out of his sails completely. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, over on the loser's side, which we'll have coming up on stream, uh, Agro Crag over, over Ennis, Furrock over Agro Crag. Uh, so now we're going to get Undertow versus Furrock. Lycan versus Jacko. Uh, this is going to suck. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if Biken has a single thing that they can do against Jacko. Yeah, I feel like Jacko's neutral is so suffocating if she can get started. I feel like it's going to be up to Undertow to just not let that happen. Exactly. Undertow has to take control fast and early, and that's it. Um, meanwhile, we are here at Boston Blue Beat Vernal Equinox. I am JMDGRT. Joined by Tessero. Uh, this is uh, Loser Semis. Uh, winner of this will go on to face Asian Dave in the Loser's Finals. We'll go on to face Doc Bach in Grand Finals. Sitting pretty. Who would have thought you'd see Chump Potemkin in uh, Grand Finals here? Honestly, us. <laughs> <laughs> because Doc is that good. Um, yes, we are here at um, at Palin's Patch in Boston, Massachusetts for Boston Blue Beat. Uh, sponsored by the Traveling Controller. Uh, we'll be here all day with some, uh, I believe after this is Unist, then uh, Blaze Blue Central Fiction, KOF, and Sailor Moon S. The ending, most anime of games. Ending the day with the showstopper. Face my Mercury, it's on point. Here we go, Undertow versus Furrock. All right, Furrock looking to set up his stuff. Undertow looking to break as much shit as he can. Got tagged by a random wizard. Ball. Yep. I feel like this is all this matchup is gonna be: is Undertow looking for a singular moment to get in, and Farage just saying no. He's shooting a house. Okay, so Tommy Carter. All right, Undertow finding it back on the Farage side of the screen, and of course because it's Jacko, the characters literally have sides of the screen that are theirs. Like, even when you have her walking, you still have to be careful because yeah. he can still attack you. They've got all these buddies coming out now. The 
leveling up some houses. Chaos level 3. Bro. This is playing Kate. I'm not forced. Great throw. Got the order now. Alright, I'm so finding the hits he needs. They aren't decisive hits. No. Uh, level 3 on all the houses. This is going to be oppressive for Undertow to get through. For uh, putting up the shield, completely negates Tommy. Oh, wow, it ran out oh, right wow. in time for him to get hit in one. <laughs> We're looking for a time over here. Undertow in control. Ferox is going to look for a hit. And he does find it, but I believe Undertow one. still with the life lead. Wow. Wow. Undertow finding the only way for Micah to beat Jacko. <laughs> you don't see a lot of time out the Guilty Gear. Oh, that's a bad Bad You don't, you're right. You don't see a lot of time overs in uh, the Guilty Gear. You do see a lot of time overs involving Jacko. <laughs> yep. Furrock looking for a way to uh, get this up. Undertow adapting well. Impressive, impressive. Oh wait, here comes Spear Man. No, <laughs> he had to jump away. Here comes the man. Alright, K House up to level 3. D House up to level 3. Oh, this is gonna suck for him. He does not have a burst. What is he doing? Oh, he found a hit! Wow, he just, he just went for it. Furok was so confident with the wall he built up that when Undertow found a hit, he didn't know what to do. That's a good game for Undertow here. Yeah. As his matchup seems to be no problem for him so far. Yeah. He seems to have a lot of familiarity with Jacko matchup. And Furok, not a lot of familiarity with the Viking matchup. I mean, some blame him, not a lot of people do. Nice. Furok is starting here. Nice conversion off the house top. Yo, Furok very upset with the way the last match is going. Wow, Look at all the pieces, dudes! He does not have a break. Oh, what a challenge that might be. I don't know if defense is really good. Oh, he countered! He, he countered count the boy! That was actually super resourceful. Like, he's using Jacko's own minions to find a way in. Get a free dash off the counter. Oh, Furak with corner control. It's a great round for Furak, like, don't get me wrong, but that counter off the dude to dash in was so genius from Undertow. High IQ, please. Undertow using this to on the guy who to break up the house. <laughs> also using the chain to shoot the men out of the sky, which I greatly appreciate. And when you when you want to get rid of those houses, you gotta use anything in your arsenal. The longer they'll stay on screen, the worse it is for it. Oh my God, he just beat up a small child on the board. See the mutual respect of both these players. Yeah. Brock just doesn't seem to know what to do. Ooh. I'm so not expecting that hit. That's a good throw. Good throw. Alright. Set up the house. Okay, he did. Three houses on. Oh, All the blitz! Put it back in the corner. This is us. That's very close. Level 3 P house and level 3 S house. That's awesome. Oh, it has first. Oh my god! <laughs> he said, no, don't throw projectiles at me. 
I'm I'm so impressed with other shows counters here. Should I take the fight for off? Saying this is my zone, you don't get to come over here, but I'm style. And that's all he's doing. The moment if I can enter the hole, it's all the sack. That's it. Game over. Oh, overclock houses, no oh, burst no. on deck. Oh, oh what a Wow. Oh my god, Undertale! His defense is on another level. Yeah. Brock still looking good, but Undertale is fighting his way back out. Atomic Geist. Oh, he went right back into the houses. Oh, wow, he DP through the counter. The, oh, the gold burst. Yes. Oh, the neighborhood the watch man. is rolling in. What do you do against this? Even the best defense is very hard. You just beat this jackal pressure. Oh, he's a Tommy Golden! Oh, wow! I mean, he countered right out of the way out. We got us the house! Tip's gonna be a first issue yep. here, yep. OTG, gonna kill. Undertale, uh, Mickey, 1-1. One, one. How we doing on chat? Huh? Got some people here. What's up, guys? Who did This is not Grand Finals. This is a uh, loser's semis. Yes, loser's semis. Uh, winner of this will go on to face Asian Dave. And the winner of that will go on to face Doc Bach. Grand Finals. Oh. Or as I like to call him, Docus Bacchus. That's a good nickname, Docus Bacchus. <laughs> We are also joined by our third commentary partner, Batman. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know if they have the no, camera. I don't think camera can see Batman hanging out over there. It's been good emotional support today, so far. So I went back to character slick, gonna take it down a little notch, breathe, and then go right back into game three. Ooh, Farrakh changing up his colors. Dark Jacko unleashed. <laughs> Dark Jacko rises. I have noticed this, that um, uh, I will say it is possible that Undertale went back to characters like to get stage select. Uh, something that Furok does like to do is play that bright orange Jacko on the desert stage. Make the shit blend in just that little bit more. <laughs> uh, camo strats? Yes, just a little bit of cam uh, camera strats. Uh, we'll see, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, we'll see what happens at the end of this game if that happens again. <laughs> Alright, Undertale. Nice control. Hold out of the command throw. Now that he can see everything, he's in firm control. Counter is Undertale. Okay. Pitch force swords with down throws. Oh, being launched inside the neighborhood. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, the same Mr. Rogers, one of those Mr. Jackos, you don't want to be there. Right, down throw into the house. Oh, he's all surrounded oh. right now. The blitz! blitz! Charge a blitz to blitz! Brug. Undertow, you madman! He just went for it. Like, look at all that. If that blitz didn't work, he would have lost. Oh, easily. But what he said was there are six things on the screen right now that are swinging. I bet I'll hit one of them at least. <laughs> Undertale taking around. Alright, it's Barak. Only got a cane house out. Oops. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. He has his burst, but not. Oh, burst super. He is on me, did, but going into the corner accidentally. Breaking down the house. Oh, the counter! You ain't blitzing me. I didn't even know you could counter blitz. Oh, that was so brutal. Undertow going up. Uh, taking a win over Furai. 
solid play for Undertow. Yes. Undertow really showing off what Viking can do today. Yeah, I, I love watching this character. Like, because it's like you never see her play, so you it feels like she's always playing from like the Democrat. Yeah, always playing from downtown, but Undertow showing what Viking can really do. And now we get a rematch of our first stream matchup of the day, Asian Dave versus uh, uh, versus Undertow. Uh, it didn't go great for Undertow. Uh, I believe he lost 2-1. Yeah, I check. think. Uh, yes, Asian Dave picked up the 2-1. Uh, probably will go back to the Elfelt. Uh, probably won't ride with Kai in this one. Yeah, I don't think he'll go Kai against uh, this this matchup. He wants he wants the elf oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He wants Undertow to prove that he can beat uh, Elf Elf. Well, here it is. He's like the size have decided on their character. Imagine. Now sit with now sit, go down this road with me, Tessera. Okay. Imagine if we have a grand finals. Bike in the first attempt. Wow. Um, that just shows that you can win with any character in this game. Garbage tier character versus formerly garbage tier character. It, honestly, as long as you learn your character in and out, you can win. Doesn't even matter oh, yes. what character it is. And that's why Guilty Gear is the best game on the market right now. Yeah, I every love character. I love this game so much. Every character is viable. Except if you play Raven your <laughs> And like when you like see Guilty Gear tournaments, like their turn the character spreads in the top eights, because you all you often see eight different characters. Yes. Alright, so much diversity. Uh, Undertow showing some uh, some adaptation from the last time these two played, but under uh, but Asian Day is like a spray hit and find their setup. Pulling off big guns. Interesting PRC right there. Ooh. Oh, the dust. Raw dust. <laughs> Agent Dave is not happy. It's a bad drop. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, hit him with the barrel of my gun. Oh, the process. He's a point blank sniper rifle player right here. Agent Dave is okay, so good. Mars last catching that jump. Solid round. Seems yeah. like he's still playing just as well as he was the first time. Yeah, Undertow really relying on that on that early strategy to set up over here and make them come to you. They're more than willing to bring the party. So if he's got liquor, he will share. I just realized, yeah. it's St. Patrick's Day, we should have required all of the players to wear uh, trade jeans. Yeah. I, I, I saw a little commotion on the train today getting here. Oh. Yeah, I feel like there's a parade today, there's a Celtics game. Oh, it's a really Celtics game too. Yeah. Woo, I'm gonna get home. Alright, on the toe. The movement from Undertow is impressive. Wow, that's 6-8. The stuff that you ate. Oh, my very setup. Here we go. I'm surprised that Asian Dave didn't RC that for a week. Honestly, I think he could have gotten the kill from that. I agree. I, I genuinely think a good RC there, and that would have been it. That's a, I, I, that's a missed opportunity. You let Undertow just take that back, and now it's an even game here. Uh, this is Loser's Finals, by the way. Sponsored by the Oh, oh sticking the fist in the air. But Undertow able to take control. Pop and Donald. I just love YRC to come with that tag. To come with ice. So this cousin just looks so good at every time. Oh. 
counter that grenade in midair. He found the low. Guess it there in Jaka stands the game for lower. <laughs> so let's oh, just shoot each other, shall we? Gotta go in. Six stage counter hit. This is a lot of damage. Yep. Oh, what the oh, drop? Oh, oh my god. Gets out of the corner. All he needs is one hit. Another crucial drop by Asian Dave. Oh, the first. Oh my god. Oh, and the guns. He just took out that stand age. Round Undertow one to Asian ready. Dave. That, was, that could have gone either way easily. Oh, yeah. We're in for a good one, folks. Let's rock. There you go. Right in the game. Tommy got it. Tommy got it. Quick burst from Undertow. Undertow retreating back to the far side of the screen. I don't think that's what you should be doing. He's finding a lot more success, you know. Just staying on top of it today. Dave. Looking uh, like he's got most of the defender right now. Yep, there's a Brylos press catch of Endan. Angry 2P though from Undertow. Oh, we got flames, we got cannons. These drops really kill it even day. Oh, the counter! Dave, I don't think I've ever seen this. Did he just counter a Pineberry? Of course. It's Undertow. Of course he's got a counter there. Oh my word. Uh, I don't think I've seen Asian Dave miss drop him. Granted, he's a game up, so, you know, can't say too much bad, but... <laughs> oh, <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> he was so scared. Oh yeah. wait, great anti your chain. Is. Yo, can you kill from this? Blackbeat combo with <laughs> for the kill. Not mashing the tech fast enough. He's gonna die for letting himself hit the ground. Oh, not doing the good old fashioned just slam your hand into the button until you get out. Yeah, I mean, guilty here. Some people don't like the mash tech. I'm okay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's fun. I, I love it because it works out for both characters. Sometimes you're just idly hitting buttons and all of a sudden you recover and you weren't expecting to recover, so you just get eaten. And then sometimes you get them because when they tech, they forget to block after teching yeah. and you get free damage. So it's like, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, Undertow. Oh, 6k. Throw damage. invincible. The damage that Mike can do. Oh, here's the setup. Oh, that's a bad drop. Okay, just a throw. We can do something with this. Some other setups from Asian Dave. Let's see what he's got. Ooh! Using the... Oh, I don't even know the name of those. Uh, heavy oh, instant on chain. overhead! That's so hard to block. Undertow, making it a 1-1. Uh, this is 3 out of 5 in his yep. user's finals. Asian Dave taking a breath. Will we see a character swap? Will he play Potemkin? I think he would go to Kai first. You're right, but will we see a Potemkin from Asian Dave? I, I doubt it. You know, Undertow has proven that he can take it to the Elf Felt. I'm just sitting on character select. I think he's thinking about it a, a little bit. I can see him. He's just not sure. He's, he's taking a moment, he's taking a deep breath. Character select. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what character he brings out. But We've got the it's he's back. He's back. The legend. The legend returns. The Asian Dave Potemkin. This is what everyone wanted to see. Asian Dave going back to his original character pick. To his roots. You know this Potemkin's big and bad. Let's drop this man out of a box and let's go. Whoa, oh, the just, challenge! This does so much. Oh, that's a bad steal. But still, even from that, it's like 60%. Uh, Doc Bok, are you watching? Well, of course you are. But, I mean, he's, he's gonna play the winner. Yeah, so let's say he's just, <laughs> he's over there just staring at the screen. Oh, no. The thing is, Asian Dave hasn't played the whole oh, instant overhead. That is, that is so hard. Crazy fast. Wow, first round to Undertow. We seem to have some Potemkin experience. 
Yeah, he does not. He doesn't fear Asia, Dave. Showing him that ass. Here we go. Buster. That's one. Where'd half your health go? Good block. Fantastic block. Oh, Faust looks below. This hammer ball. Uh, what, do you, what do you do when everyone dashes through each other? Oh, Asian Dave. Ooh, he said no. I knew you were going to do that. That's that's massive experience right yeah. there, honestly. Oh, no. It's match buster. But that's the thing. Like, one, one heavy buster and Asian Dave had it. Got to be careful, though. Oh, oh I think he's gonna try to bust it right there. He yeah. up. There it is. Uh, game three. Yeah, that pumpkin pick didn't go yeah. as well as he thought it would. It started off really strong and then just didn't work out. Ooh. Asian Dave still got one more game at least. Oh, and he's oh, going to stay. Let's see how it goes. Is, 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 uh, does Tommy guys should count as projectiles? Yes, they do. So the Tempkin can flick the four floorboards. But Asian Dave doesn't really go into that. Though. No. Oh, backdash. Okay. Here it is. Oh, he wasn't ready. Oh, wait. That's the right throw. Two mix up. Oh, the regular throw again. Oh, back dash. He's trying to face up his big right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just walking towards him. Yeah. Another toe back on the It was great. Yeah. That was a good challenge. Yep. Round to Asian Dave. First round with the temp two. 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 All or nothing. Okay, you want to see a long set. You hope that he gets more. <laughs> now there's the play. That's all I want to see is if you flick, flick the floorboard and send it back with the air throw sets. Here's Dave, why are you going out? Underto just hitting buttons. He's been blocking for a while, fine. Count on him. Real nice ass, dude. Ouch. That was 50%. Oh, right? Oh, he got Another match? He just rushed to his stun! Oh, he got the stun! Oh, he missed oh, the 6H! No. That was an easy kill. Oh, my gosh. Undertow is not going to let this chance go to waste. He has to look for something. Finds the buster. Oh, he it's just a fraction oh, of left. I thought he could RC. He could have yep. RC to make sure he dies. But... Oh, that's oh, a counter hit. He's got his burst. And he baits oh. it perfectly. And Undertow takes a round that he honestly shouldn't have won. Nope. That was, now that it's match point. That was even less than a magic pixel. That was. That might have been literally one hit point. Yeah. Knowing how guilty gear works. Yeah. <laughs> Undertow. Oh, uh -oh. that was a big side switch call out. It's not over yet. Oh, the cap! He do that and here with Tomer. I think that Face might be that. Oh my god. Everyone didn't know what to do. They did can't take another hit. And there oh, it is. Oh, that jump. Yes. Undertow, take the win over Asian Dave. We've got... Viking versus Potemkin in Grand Finals. Right after we had Viking versus Potemkin in Winner's Finals. Yeah, and Loser's Finals, yeah, so... Still. It's, some, it's something nicer about it being in, in Grand Finals. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, you've seen some matches from Undertow. You've seen some matches from Sockbok. Who do you got your money on? I, uh, I think it's going to be on Sockbok. I think it's Sockbok's going to lose. Yeah, he's been at the top of his game today. 
So, but Undertow just showed us some great tech against the Temkin. That is true. And Doc Bok, to the best of my knowledge, does not have a second character. He does not. But unlike Asia Dave, he's not spreading himself thin. True. So that single Potumpkin is going to be a lot harder to take down. True. Very true. Uh, we're just setting up here for Grand Finals. The yep. Players are stepping away. Maybe he's getting some Undertow warm up. was not aware of the fact that he was <laughs> still had to play a game. So he got up and he walked away. We ain't done yet. Good job, Undertow. Uh, so we are here at Volume 4 of Boston Blue Beat. Vernal Equinox is this month's yes. subtitle, which is the most anime thing that can happen. I think it means like spring. It's the spring equinox, that's yeah. all. Like, Vernal that's is it. just a weird way to say spring, I yeah. guess. Um, we are here at Balance Patch in Boston, Massachusetts. I am JMTGRC, joined by Tessero here on commentary. Uh, uh, Boston Blue Beat is our uh, New England FGC uh, Anime Monthly. Uh, the next one's coming up on April 7th. Yes. All of them sponsored by the Trap Game Controller. Hosted by our good man, Barlow. Yes, by Dramatic Barlow, somewhere over there. Who, I found out recently, has picked up Guilty Gear. He plays everything. A little and, bit. Uh, he, he wants to make sure he knows all the games that he's running. Yes, most certainly. Um, but he character Jack. He's now playing Slayer. Slayer, huh? I mean, that's that's kind of a character I expect him to play. I mean, he he plays a um, Val Valkenhayn. Valkenhayn. Yeah. He likes old man characters. Yes. Marlo loves his dad. Yeah, and Slayer is hella dead. So there you Slayer, go. Slayer, I, I will have you know, is the flyest of the Guilty cast. He is you mean you mean dandy? He is the swag daddy. He is the dandiest. Here we go. Uh, winners finals. Uh, WS Undershow versus Doc Bach in winner side. Heaven or the best music possible. I love original dead. Great music choice. Yeah, let's go. Undershow trying to set the pace early and achieve it. Take the first hit here. Look at all that damage. Wow, like it hurts. Doc Bog curled up in the corner, not really sure what to do. Look at this pressure. Of course, that's the burst of Doc Bog. He's already lost like 80% of his health, so I don't know if that burst is even worth it at this point. No, this is a strong first round from Undertow. Yeah. Just taking that momentum he took from BD Azure right into this match with the Doc Bog. Until looking at Doc Bach, and you think you're so cool for me, Nathan Dave, I will show you the truth. Wow, he's all over him right now. Such a size. Oh, wow. I'm oh, sorry, folks. There's not even much to say. These 6Ks are so good at beating Duncan's backdash. This matchup experience. This perfect Undertow with the perfect game one of Grand Finals. Wow, that was brutal. Undertow wants that reset. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. Let's rock. Doc Bok has to find an answer. Early burst from Doc Bok. I mean, all we need to see is one good hit from Doc Bok. And this game can end. You see him do it plenty of times. Doc in particular is, is a master of the one hit KO. Oh, the blitz! Didn't quite work out right there. And Undertow. Ooh, good back pass. Just can't get another space. Uh, Wait, that's all right. Good throw. No perfect. Uh, no second perfect for Undertow. Control back into the end of Doc Bok. He read that jump. A good, a good fight back from Doc Bok, but Undertow just looks unshakable. Yeah, he played a little bit too far to the mind game right there. He's reading the jump, but he really hasn't landed any busters yet. So. There we go. Big heavy buster. This is where you want to start catching the jumps, right after you hit that buster. Put the fear of it in them. Then just the expression of life. Yeah, you thought you were so cool to put me in a dirt. The movement besides this is so impressive. That was so hard to hit. Doc Bach cannot find the anti-airs at all. 
There we go, regular throw. Alright, this is Doc Fox moment. Look at that, that 6P must have been an input error. Doc Fox is letting up until he's the corner. Crucial. Finds the throw. Oh, nice pick up. And that's a quick 2 0 up for Undertow. Stock Black has not really been able to do much anything here. He really wants that reset. Doc Bob really has to center himself and figure out what to do against this Lycan. Might end up being a faster set than Doc Bob would like. Boss up. Good burst play. Yeah, I like that angel. Oh! You don't usually see him drop that. No. The, the, oh! Every blitz shield has been challenged. He said Undertow's offense and defense are so solid. He's got all three phases on Undertow. He's got fantastic offense, fantastic defense, and fantastic defense. Doc Bob finding the slide head. Oh, but Undertow is going back up. Double for Tommy. This could kill. Yep, he gets the air dash link, and this is a one round away from a reset. Just looking like complete total domination from Undertow. Wow, threw him out of the Tazami. Yeah. Was he even on the ground right there? I believe so. <laughs> it looked like he cut him out of the air, honestly. Oh, he slid into the Tazami! Alright, Doc. Undertow finding control again. Okay, head. That's the setup. Match that fucking slash. Let's see this. Like I said, Undertow is not going to take any sort of pressure save value. He's always going to find that one. I guess he's so good at this. It feels like, you know, it really does feel like the Undertow is just hitting the button at the same time, and every single one is the right button. Look at this meter advantage he has. RC. Oh, he blocked the instant overhead, and he's gonna get a buster. Ah, fuck! Showing off huge. Like the grand finals. Oh, he gets the slide head and gets it to Tommy. That is a 3-0 reset. Yep. Three straight games, six straight rounds. Doc, take a moment, take a breath. He's gotta like you can't. You just got completely slapped right there. This is uh, 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 Undertow was not sure if that was a uh, game. Um, yeah, I will signal to them that they're maybe surprised by how fast those two games went. I mean, yeah, they're all oh. Rough person, Doc Bob. No throw follow up. Gets the air throw. Alright, Doc Bob. Front control. Gets with the buster. Okay. This is box time. Reads the wake up jump. Gets the conversion. A much, much more tempered round from Doc Bob. Found the far slash again. Another toe is a bar race. Challenging with every button. Finding the right answer. Okay, there it is. Ooh, that's a Tommy falling slow enough to catch the back dash. And Undertow picking it up to take the round. All or nothing. Doc Bar finds the slide head. Ooh. Wow, he's been blocking those instant overheads. I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> is he just like blocking out because he's not going low? Yeah. For as rough as this is like. Oh, the back dash buster! Doc Bog taking control. And this is where things can turn from tempting. Oh, just the air throw. That's the slide head. Does the late jump H count the jump? Oh, the hammer fall! It's to it. Still looking around for Doc. Back dash pass for the deck side right there. Oh no! Just a little bit off the mark, but he had the right idea. He gets the hit. Oh, that's a cross slash. Oh, putting up the barriers. No, it's going to be out a lot for him. No. Doc with fantastic defense. There we go. Nice jump out from Undertow. He knew. Gets the throw. First round for Doc Bob. Started to get a little bit of his win back. 
Like if 6k is throwing this, so you get up close and 6k them, they try to throw you, that's a free counter hit. Like right there. Oh, held the flick as long as possible. There we go, Zod. Wow, he's using all the meter to get in right now. He is not getting into a second degree. He's not over yet. There's another 6k counter hit. There's a huge KO. Oh, no, not enough. Gets the buster! Look at how much damage that did, too! Oh, the gold burst! Oh, he so got good. him! Suck! Fuck! Wow, what a call out! And that's that's it! That's the round! That is and the, the game! Round. First master of the reset goes to Doc Bach! What a play! That gold burst gold was calculated. He let him go up. He's like, you're not uh, coming down. Doc Bach said, Doc Bach said no. No second 3-0. I don't like being down here in the loser's bracket. Oh wow, that first completely called out, and he's still in the under tow. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. I am impressed that Undertow chose to jump right back into this. He's doing fantastic, but if I were Undertow, I would have taken the second back. Like, oh, yeah. This is looking like a perfect. So still working out perfect. Yep. No Was not happy with the call out from Doc. Yeah, he's put himself right back into the set already. Second perfect of the set. Working on another one. Good job. That's it. Uh, Do a jump. Fantastic flick from Rock and gets the conversion. Okay, we go eat it then. Slide head set up. A little bit too far for that bro. Oh, they jump over the jump up. Knock off the first one. Oh, guess the slide head. That one hit the win. Oh, hammer falls through. No oh, meter from oh, anyone. Get the punish. Oh, jumps away from the buster. Huge. Oh, good I don't think he can kill them though. This is the air dash. Still got pressure though. Doc looking for something. Oh, shows him the butt. Oh, um, that's good. the far slash. That's 1-1. One, 1-1! One. One, one. Deep three. What's up? Yeah. All right. One, one of the reset. Stop. Oh, that's a good He's still got the corner. He's still got the pressure. Now he's just hammer ball. It's out. Ooh, he gets the throw. Oh, he got the first. Shows him the butt. Jump to the jump. He's so silly. He's on you. Yo, the cross up to Tiny. The pressure from the no, from Undertow is just fantastic. Undertale. Oh, not blocking low. So, very close. So close. Oh. Yo, the dash. Jump in. Great counter. Yo, the conversion, though. Oh, gets a little low. Slide head. He's probably going to go back over again. Still looking for the perfect. This is kind of, oh, he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, but he's not dead yet. Oh, and but he gets the perfect dead. anyway. Understood. Wow. 2 1 in the reset. This might be at the end of the tournament for if Doc Back does not find a way to fight off this Viking right now. Doc Bob is not finding another gold versus air super. Viking combo. 
Explore says 2 1, but I that's feel like. Buster. Oh, okay, here we go. Call oh, out. That's a call out. That's a call out and a half. He said, you're going to jump. That's the first ghost you've done all day. I can respect it. Hammer falls through. Okay. Let's see what the setup is. Doc's not going to go down without a play. Oh, oh he tried, tried to get it. Good Counters counter on the KFD. Yo, that almost. Oh, it shows him the meteor ass. <gasps> meteor! Oh my god! Doc Box! It's gonna come down to the next hit. That's over slide head. And that super fast jump slash. Is that jumping heavy slash? Jump slash? Jump slash. Jump slash? Jump slash? Yeah. Wow, nice block. Ooh, and that is punishable. Yep. Yo, Josh. Getting his Getting his permit point going. He is on the attack. Here we go. Setups. Ooh, nice. Doc's got a burst back. This is Doc Back's last chance. Oh, the air throw setups. How's your blocking? Ooh. Oh, I he finds he, the hit! He missed up the TK overhead. Oh, oh but, but the, the back. He jumps to Timmy, the and that is tournament for Undertow. Coming Three, back from the loser's bracket. Three to one. Three to one, followed by Leo. That looked really easy for him, honestly. Yeah. He didn't look like he was threatened at any point. No? Like, even that one game that Doc Block was like, extremely close, down to the wire. <laughs> so. Type of moment for sure, but yeah, it looks like Undertow just kind of knew what to do coming in. Yeah, he had the matchup experience for sure. Yeah. Great tournament for him. Great showing for Doc Block as well. Yep. Um, you know, being Asian Dave to get to grand finals on winner's side. Uh, yeah, it does Asian feel Dave bad to go down third. like that, though. Yeah, Asian Dave coming in third. Um, and that's going to do it for Guilty Gear at Boston Blue Bee, Vernal Equinox. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we're going to turn it over to Eunice. Yes, right. Eunice is next. Uh, this is uh, JMDGRT. And this is Test Zero. Uh, thank you uh, for joining Test Zero. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. So it's always fun to call some uh, some hype shit. Yeah, I love I love commentating this game. Yeah. It's so exciting. I didn't expect uh, three perfects in Grand Finals, but here we are. Hey, Mikan's right. tough. Mikan's a problem. Mikan. Alright, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see y'all later. Yeah.